What's going on everyone, my name is Atlas, and today I want to start off by saying welcome to my single player Minecraft world. I've always wanted to have a Minecraft world that I could come back to in between work and life and hopefully years down the line be able to explore all the things I have built. Quick note, this isn't going to be the most efficient or technically correct Minecraft world, but I think that's a part of the Minecraft charm. If you guys want to kick it with me, let's hop right into the start of this thing. I do have some experimental features enabled, so I'm excited to test those out. I started off by spawning on a tree at the edge of a dark oak forest with some spruce in the distance. Off rip, I saw an abandoned shipwreck, so I figured this had to be a good sign. Just like in every other Minecraft world, you gotta start by punching them trees. I've never truly built out a dark oak, and it's usually a biome I tend to avoid because of the harsh contrast of the dark wood. I tend to build with more spruce than anything else, but this time, I think it's gonna be different. Spruce is the goaded wood, but we'll figure it out. After getting my essentials together, I didn't even know where I wanted to start. I've played Minecraft for so many years, and I usually come into these worlds and servers with a plan in mind. This world just felt so new, and I honestly didn't think about anything I was doing. I normally play on servers with a bunch of friends, and quickly skip over the new world side of Minecraft. Stone tools quickly turn into iron, and very shortly progress into diamond. So this world feels nice to take it a bit slower. After hopping around the forest and gathering what I could to get my stuff together, I quickly realized the night was falling. I couldn't find enough sheep for a bed, so a hole in the wall was going to be home for me for the night. It's a little spooky out there. I headed back out when it was daylight to get some coal. Usually, I love to mine at night, but I wasn't going to have my first death on my first night. After a few days to gather materials to try to homify my hole in the wall, I decided to head out to a bandit shipwreck in hopes for some clutch finds. I found a bit of iron bamboo, and the works. I would say this is a pretty good spot. After coming up for air, I saw another shipwreck. I think this is pretty good off spawn. Also, this is editing Alice. I also found two coastal armor trims and a buried treasure map. I don't know why I didn't highlight those. Those are way cooler. Sometimes you just gotta tear some dirt up and get to building. After grinding some early game materials, I wanted a place to park my boat and do some fishing. I thought this hillside was a perfect place to set up a dock area. I want a nice staircase to lead down to the water so I can easily access the dock. Looking back, this staircase design will probably be pretty temporary until I come up with a better design that I like. But I used some spruce slabs to create the base of the dock and kept expanding out until it felt just about right. vibe of these mossy stone boulders being around this pine type biome, and I would love to incorporate these more throughout the area. The overgrown vibe of the forest is so appealing and can always be some really good detail. The area underneath is going to be a longer term project of a more natural looking slope, but for now, I think it works. I love to hide lighting in builds so there's not so much torch spam everywhere. And these columns are a perfect place to hide some lighting that's out of sight. This 
dock will eventually have storage and a crafting area for any fishing I do down here. But for now, a nice tabletop and a crafting table will do the job. The whole reason for this dock is I need a place to park my boat. And I really love the concept of this shelf design I made. It reminds me of boat lifts that I seen on docks as a kid. The roof design I did for this admittedly is not my favorite thing I've ever made, but I would love to revisit this area in the future. I enjoy the process of building with blocks I don't normally use, so this felt like a good warm up before tackling my starter house. One of my favorite parts about the pine taiga biome is how much wood you get. These tall spruce trees are incredible. And as I got to the top, I needed to scope out the surrounding area. I'm already crafting up so many ideas of how cool this place will be when I build it out. Have some farms, cool portal, maybe a log mill. All these ideas just got me so excited. Mining exploration is something I truly hadn't set out to do yet. But if I'm going to transform this world into something I love, I'm going to need some stone materials. I have loved taking it slow, but now I think it's time to grind a little bit. I think I want to turn my starter hole in the wall into a mine shaft, so I broke through the side of the hill to get my mine shaft started. And listen, I won't bore you all with the entire mining mission, so here's a super quick recap of what I got. In here I found some iron, Some lapis. Copper. And a bunch of spawners. I think I found like four of these. I also found this really cute axolotl. So, here you go, buddy. After some quick terraforming under the dock, I was right back to cleaning up the area. I thought this entire hillside outside my current hole in the wall was going to be where I wanted all of my farms, but I quickly tore it down after I built it. I don't really design anything in creative unless it's redstone or a massive build, and I'm trying to learn how to build on camera. Even though most of this I recorded was from before, I think it's still a little nerve wracking as I'm so new to this. There's definitely a skill to making these videos that I have a very fresh perspective on. So thanks for hanging out if you're still here, appreciate it. And let me just say, this mining thing takes a while. I tunneled through so much stone to get to deep slate so I could build a staircase down to bedrock. And mining through deep slate with an iron pick is grueling. I always tend to forget how it feels restarting in a Minecraft world after playing on servers where you end up with every item in the game. There are just some inconveniences in Minecraft that makes you truly want to push to get those better materials. But now, the moment we've all been waiting for... Diamonds! Let's go! Diamonds! Let's go! I am so glad to see these teal pixels. And hey, 
decent chunk of diamonds too. So, not much, but it's a start. Now, after not seeing the sun and almost 10 hours in this world, I'm ready to gather materials for the starter house. I finally found an idea that I wanted to make my starter house, and I knew I was going to need a bunch of materials that I really couldn't get in the pine taiga biome. I started out by gathering a few more materials at the bottom of a mine shaft. Hold on, I gotta get these diamonds. Okay, now we're good. But there are a few items I was definitely going to need to head up to find. Went down to my local geode for some calcite. I really like this block. The texture's so good, and you can use it in just about anything. I need some new friends, which luckily weren't too much of a hassle to get back to the house, which then I had to plant a wheat field to get more, then led my ADHD brain into making a path for the house, leading me down a hole of rooted dirt, then I used my diamonds for a diamond pick, and headed out to get some obsidian from a nearby lava pool. Right around the corner, I found a ruined portal, with a notch apple, so hey. We'll take that. I had to eventually find a mesa, so I loaded up on terracotta, and I was quick to hop on my boat to set sail for a mangrove swamp. On my way, I found a jungle biome, savanna biome, and a cherry blossom biome. After about 3,700 blocks out, I finally found the mangrove swamp. After filling up my already full inventory full of as much mangrove stuff as I could, it was time to set my sights for home. But now, let's throw it into a time lapse to see how I do the starter base. Well, all right, everyone, it is finished. Let's go check it out. I will say that I don't think you guys are going to see the interior until next episode. I'm still working on it, but 
I love the way this build came out. I will, uh, I did find this front bit on Instagram. So if I find that Instagram account, I will throw it in the description of this video. If not, I will search for it for the next video. Um, but I love the way that this build came out. I did change quite a few things about it uh, to try to make my own. I do have a goal of making a big old chimney here, but I want to detail this area out. So yeah, I, I love it. The only thing I don't love is how expensive these trap doors are. Why are they six blocks for one trap door? Nine ingots for one block. Insane. Insane. Those trap doors would weigh a ton, but I love the back. Still got to do some detailing, but I love the way this came out. So good. But next time, we're definitely making a honey farm, and I'm hunting for bees so I can keep this state of copper. I think this is exposed because I think it came out well. Hold up, gotta sleep. And let's turn on some shaders, show you guys how it looks in the morning. Look at those rays of light coming through. I think this looks awesome. We have a little lighting issue because the new copper blocks, but hey, we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me. It's been a ton of fun. I've learned so much in this episode, and I can't wait to come back and do another one. So, thanks for hanging out. I will catch you guys later. Peace, guys.